What is up, Kalimbakers? <laughs> Kalimbakers, you know. Um, welcome to another video tutorial and today we're going to understand the basic theory of kalimba or basic music theory or kung paano tayo makakapag-arrange ng song nang hindi na tayo gumagamit ng tabs or number tabs. Well, I'm not saying na hindi mahalaga yung mga tabs. They are important. They are learning materials just like this video. But what if you want to go, you know, a little bit higher or to the next level of your music, di ba? And you want to do it by your own. You don't want to depend on other people. That is actually one goal na pwede natin gawin personally. And also, I saw this post from a member of KMP. Ang sabi niya, sana may gumawa daw ng tutorial kung paano mag-arrange ng notes. Or kung paano i-translate yung piano or guitar chord sa kalimba. And when I saw this, it caught my attention because this is what I do. Um, I just put the link right here. I arranged this um, music by myself. And uh, I think makakatulong ako. So, I just want to share my ideas about arranging the notes or arranging your own music. Also, a friend asked me to give a sample of harmony and melody. So, their concern is quite the same. But before we know how to arrange our own music or how to arrange our own piece in Kalimba, kailangan alam muna natin yung mga basic music theory na i-share ko ngayon. So if you're interested to learn those basic music theory, dyan lang po kayo and magbabalik ako. <laughs> So, four things for, for our basic music theory. First, we're going to talk about pitch, melody, harmony, and tempo. Okay? Um, sa pitch po, it can be high, low, or middle. So, for example, in our kalimba, we have here C4 and E6. Diba? Magandang tunog. Alright, um, C4 and E6, that's the pitch range of our kalimba. I'll just go ahead and put the link right here sa card so you can check it out. My previous video about, you know, comparison of the keyboard and kalimba. You can just watch it right there and go back to this video. Ngayon, kapag pinag-combine-combine po natin yung mga pitch na yan, bawat isa po na yan, di ba, na times, ay pitch po yan. When we combine them together in a meaningful way, we then create a melody. A melody is basically the way we sing a song. For example, Happy birthday to you. So, ten and ten, 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 ten. So, yun po yung melody ng song. When we combine two or more um, um, pitches, we then create a harmony because they harmonize together. Later, I'll show you a video, an example, para mas maunawaan po natin. Kasi hindi naman po tayo nag-aaral ng music, di ba? And mas maganda maunawaan natin yung, yung mga theory na ganito sa way lang na simple lang at mas, alam mo yun, parang pangmasa. <laughs> uh, ganun ko lang din kasi nauunawaan, so I share it with you. Okay, so I'll put here the video of Melody. Tapos dito yung harmony. Tapos din dito yung tempo. Now, that's the last thing, yung tempo. Tempo is what makes your music more musical. Okay? Kasi po, kahit yung mga professional in music, mga experts na musician, they recommend the use of metronome. A metronome is a device na downloadable naman siya sa mga app store para ma-monitor natin yung tempo natin, yung timing, para nasa timing tayo magtugtog. Okay po, kahit yung mga experts, they are using uh, metronome. So, I also recommend that to you. Now, whenever you practice, when you memorize, um, 
a song, a certain song. Ano siya? Gamitan mo siya ng tempo. So let's go ahead and see the video for us to learn more about the four things I told you. Alright, so what you just saw is a 4-4 time signature arrangement of Amazing Grace in key of C using our kalimba. And the beauty of this instrument is that you don't need to separate harmony and melody. Tapos saka ka lang magre-record. No, you can play both harmony and melody at the same time. Okay, that's why you'll see a lot of people uploading videos in YouTube. And they are doing amazing things with just one instrument. Diba? The thing is, our standard tuning of kalimba is C. Okay? And for most of us, it's a hassle. Mahirap na yung lagi tayo magtotonop dahil yung kanta na sa G. Diba? I-discuss natin ngayon, we're going to discuss this, you know, what they call key center. Ang kalimba po natin, it has C chord progression, it has C family, lahat ng nasa C. Okay? But what if the song that you want is in key of D? Iaangat mo lahat ng times, lahat ng tono, what if nasa A, mas mataas pa, so it's kinda hard, diba? And how are you gonna survive that, na lahat naman ng song, hindi naman lahat nasa key of C. Today, we're trying to learn more about music, and we're going to transpose the, those things, diba? Those keys, from G, dadali natin siya sa C, from A, magiging C, from B, magiging C, para mas madali lang tayo, and one time tuning lang tayo. And how are you gonna arrange it by yourself? For example, you don't want to read tabs or tabs for your song is not available in the internet. Anong gagawin mo? Ang pwede mong gawin is that you need to identify the melody first. Okay? So, sulat mo muna yung melody. You need to write it down. That's how we learn. Write down the melody first. Tapos, saka natin alamin yung chords. Now, chords are always available in the internet. Tapos, saka natin ilalagay doon. So, look at that example. You can replay the video, The Amazing Grace, yung plinay ko kanina. You'll see that I have the melody right there, sa, dito sa bandang to ng screen niyo Tapos, dito yung harmony, di ba? So, do the melody first. Practice the melody. Pag-aralan mo, kabisaduhin mo, and then, ilagay mo yung harmony together. Now, use a metronome para masab masabi mo talaga, maging confident ka talaga na you're making music, di ba? And you are in the tempo. So, ganun lang yung ibig ko sabihin. You can do it by your own, basta you, you are guided by this music theory na pinag-usapan natin. We have here the keyboard, and we're going to study where the chords are. Yung kalimba, saka yung keys, di ba? Sa last video, I told you that kalimba doesn't start here sa C3. It doesn't start, I mean C2, it doesn't start in C3, it starts in C4, okay? So, just a quick information about the keys. May kita nyo to, dalawa yung blocks, two blocks, three blocks, two blocks, three blocks, and so on. Paulit-ulit lang yan. Um, for us to easily know where the key of C is, may kita nyo itong dalawa, sa gilid nun yun yung C. Dalawa, sa gilid nun yun yung C. Ito yung dalawang block, sa gilid nun yun yung C, Okay? Alright, just for another information. Of course, you don't need that. Ang pitch range ng ating kalimba ay from here to here. Okay, so from here, going... Yan, yeah, yun yung kalimba natin. Yun din yung may kita nyo sa bilang, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. So, yun yung nakikita ninyo. Uulit-ulit lang siya. Alright, so do we need the blocks? No, we don't need them. Okay, unless you want to tune your kalimba with a blues... Um, key, or jazz, or chromatic. Pero may minor na rin naman ng C, kaya hindi nyo na kailangan yung mga black na yan. Alright? So, for us to easily see, maybe i-zoom ko pa, para mas makita ninyo yung comparison ng, ng chords. Right, so, let me give you a quick one for melody making. So, from keys going to the kalimba. Alam nyo na na ito ay C4, di ba? Ito yung 1 ng ating kalimba, yung pinaka nasa gitna, nasa middle pala. Ay, tama. <laughs> Pares lang yun. So, ito yung 1 din. Ito rin yung 1. 
So, lahat in between, pare-parehas lang yung number na yan. ba? Diba? So, kung para mas matulungan nyo yung sarili nyo, you can actually put number here kung ayaw na nyo siyang i-memorize. ba? Diba? Pero, sunod-sunod lang naman eh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Tapos, ulit. Tapos, I need additional two notes right here. So, I've seen a lot of uh, cover of Steel by Hillsong. So, susubukan natin siya dito. Sa kalimba, ganun din yung gagawin ninyo. I-transfer nyo lang yung number. So, halimbawa, dito yung nag start eh. O, pwede dito, pwede rin dito. So, for example, parang ganito yun eh. So. Ganun siya, di ba? So, ito yung 1. So, alam mo na na ito yung 2 and 3. So, 3, 5... 1, na may dalawang dot na. Tama ba? 1, tapos 7, and 6. 6, 6, tapos 5, 5. So, ganun siya. Isusulat mo siya, write it down, and then go to your kalimba and try to practice it. And that's how you form the melody. Okay, so we're going now to the chords of kalimba and keys. Nakikita nyo sa kalimba ninyo, you have number 1, number 3, and number 5. Sa keyboard, ito po yun. So, C, E, and G. Alright? Paulit-ulit lang po yan sa kalimba. You'll see number 1. Tapos yung sumunod na dalawang time sa right. Yun yung buong chord ng C. Okay? Now, number 2. Yung D. Right? And then, yung kasunod niyan dalawang chord, ay dalawang times dun sa my left, yun na yung D minor. Ito sa keyboard. Sa number 3 naman, E minor na, di ba? Sa kalimba. Yung sumunod na dalawang times sa right, yun, yun, yung, yun na yung E minor chord. Ito yun siya sa, ano, sa keys. Okay? Now, sa number 4 naman, F, meron din dalawang times sa left. Yun na rin yung buong chord ng F sa kalimba. Ito naman siya sa keys. Ganon din po yung sa my 5 and so on. Okay, yung mga kasunod lang niya and then until B diminished. Kapag inarrange natin siya into music, ang tawag natin doon chord progression. Halimbawa po, C, F, A minor, G. So that's the harmony na magagawa natin sa kalimba and keys. Alright, I hope you learned something from that. Alright, so that's how we arrange our kalimba music. Diba? If you don't have tabs or you don't want to look at the tabs, you want to figure out yourself. Two ways. First, identify the melody. Tapos, isunod yung harmony. Or the other way around. Um, do the harmony, find the harmony, find the chords. Tapos, isunod yung melody. And then, when you have them together in kalimba, um, play... Uh, metronome, diba? tempo. So that's what we learn in our music theory for today. But I'll show you how to transpose yung mga chords, okay? Let me show you this one. <clears throat> Guitar progressions. It's too crowded, but I just want to point out yung mga key. A, B, C, D. Yan yung mga tinatawag natin key center. Sa right side nila, yun yung family nila, alright? Just to explain what it means by family chord or yung chord progression, alright? So sa A, Sa right niya, yun yung mga family niya. Sa C, sa right niya, yun yung mga family niya. Alright? So, sa kalimba natin, yun yung C tayo. So, three principal chords. One, four, five. Same po yan sa kalimba. Tapos, minor chords, um, six, two, saka three. If you are in the major chord or you fall to that note, it, it sounds happy. Pagdating mo sa minor, it sounds sad or may tension. Okay? And I think that's also how our life is. Minsan you go to to minor and then you feel sad. But then, there's a relief. That's why there is a major chord. And then, ha, ah, so that's the feeling. <laughs> Too many things to say. <laughs> Marami nang sinasabi. Um, anyway, I'd like to introduce this one instead of that. This one is simpler. May kita nyo po, oh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Yan yung mga key center. Tapos sila yung pinagmumulan. That's why it's important to understand the major scale. Because this is the major scale itself. So from C going to the B, diminished. So 1 to 1, yan yung major scale yung um, diniscuss ko in my previous video. So 
May kita ninyo, may number din dyan. Roman numeral number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then another 1. So, parang kalimba din yan. Uh, this is the thing about this um, chart. For example, the song that you want is in key of G. Okay? But your kalimba is in key of C. How are you gonna transpose it? Here, feel free to pause the video. You can download this chart. So, for example... The chord progression for the song that you want is in key of G. When it comes to C, yan yung mga family niya nasa right. Sa D, yan yung mga family niya nasa right. Now, sa G, for example, ang chord mo ay G, C, and D. Alright? So, just taking those um, strong chords. Okay? So, you're playing um, G, C, and D. Alright? That's the harmony in the guitar. How are you gonna transpose it to kalimba? Here, you will understand that G, C, D is actually 1, 4, 5. So you don't need to say G, C, D. You just say, ah, 1, 4, 5. You can interpret it that way. 1, 4, 5. And if you go to C, so basically you understand what I mean. 1, 4, 5 means C, F, G. So another example, so suppose you have E. Alright, sa key of E, meron kang E, B, na no, nagkaroon tayo ng minor chord. E, B, C sharp minor, and A. Alright, E, B, C sharp minor, and A. Ano yung formula nun? The formula goes 1, 5, 6, 4. 1, 5, 6, 4. E, B, C sharp minor, A. A yung kalimbangan natin nasa C. Alright, how are we gonna do that? So, I think you realize it already. What we're going to do is to apply the formula. Ano nga uli yun? 1, 5, 6, 4. So, sa C, 1, 5, 6, 4 means C, G, A minor, and F. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can do more and be motivated to to do a lot of videos like this. Thank you very much for listening and I mean for watching. I'm just here to help and that's what I want to do. I want to share my ideas for free. <laughs> so, maraming salamat. I'm also learning by myself and um, I do this because I want to serve others with what I can. Thank you po. Maraming salamat and I'll see you again, Kalimbackers. Bye-bye.